Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to explain how I'm paying $51.40 a year for an extended warranty. So if you guys are new and just tuning into the channel, this is my 2018 BMW M3 and the color is Austin Yellow. So like I discussed in the beginning of the video, we're going to be talking about an extended warranty and how I pay so little for an extended warranty on a 2018 BMW M3. So the reason why I recommend or you should look into Geico's Mechanical Breakdown Insurance, I've dealt with it. I've had it for about almost six plus years already. I also had it on my 2014 BMW 335 X-Drive. That vehicle was a six-speed manual had a Dakota red leather interior with Alpine white exterior. M Sport package, so it had all the aesthetics on there. So the next vehicle I wanted after the 335 was to progressively move on to the M3. So this little insert's from Geico's website. Geico's mechanical breakdown is available for new or leased vehicles that are less than 15 months old and with less than 15,000 miles. Once you purchase your mechanical breakdown, you can renew it up to seven years or 100,000 miles, whichever comes first. After a $250 deductible on a covered loss, mechanical breakdown covers repairs to all mechanical parts of the car, except for maintenance and wear and tear. In the first part of the video, you see my 2014 BMW um, being towed. What happened with that vehicle was, I'm gonna show you on here, it's obviously not the same vehicle, but my rear brakes end up locking up on the vehicle, uh, which caused a lot of damage. I was on the highway going about 70, 80 miles an hour, and my rear brakes end up basically locking up. That caused my rear rotors to heat up to a, like a bright red color. It also caused my center caps to melt, along with my rear pads to be melted into uh, the calipers. My brake lines were all worn out. So I'm not going to lie, when I got a phone call from the dealership, they quoted me for $9,500 worth of repairs for the rear brakes. My thought process was, I might as well just trade it in and take the loss because it wouldn't be worth it, or at least I didn't think it was going to be worth it. After searching the forums, I looked at many different options. Um, I was looking on F30 Post, and I saw somebody post up about um, warranties and the post was something along the terms of Geico's mechanical breakdown insurance luckily when I bought the 2014 F30 I was covered by Geico and I was actually asking Geico about any extended warranties they had luckily the customer service rep I was dealing with he mentioned about the mechanical breakdown at the time I was so excited didn't really know what it was but I told him to add it on well, luckily that saved me about 10 grand so after I finished reading up the post and I was like, you know what, maybe I do have this coverage. So I called up Geico, verified that I did have the coverage, and I filed the claim. Um, it took about maybe two days. Geico sent out a rep to the shop, verified that it was a mechanical issue, which was covered under that um, insurance. So what's good about having Geico's mechanical breakdown insurance, they're gonna repair your vehicle with OEM parts. So you're not gonna get aftermarket parts unless you want them. I don't know if you could kind of work that in with the shop, but basically Geico sends out a rep, they come to the shop, they verify it. Once they verify that the issue was caused by a mechanical issue, whether it be your engine, uh, your, your suspension components, 
or for example, my rear brakes. Once they verify that it was a mechanical failure, they're gonna give the green light for the shop to repair it. So GEICO re requires you as a policyholder, and part of their contract is to pay the $250 deductible. Um, for example, if you end up having the same issue I had, which was the DSC failure and that caused the rear brakes to have an issue, and also you had your AC that failed and you're out of your uh, factory warranty, so you would have to pay two $250 deductibles, one for the AC and one for the rear brakes, and that covers it. Um, if you guys know of any other insurance policy holders or any you know extended warranties that kind of offer you the same thing for this type of cost, by all means, shoot a comment below because that's just insane. So on their website, it says, why not just get extended warranty? You wonder. You could if you want to pay more for less protection. And that's exactly true because if you go to the BMW dealership, they're going to charge you per tier. For, for example, some of their tiers are called platinum, you know, gold, silver, coverage. Um, but each dealership would charge you or kind of give you an option to pay different companies. Um, but I knew I had this on the back of my head that Geico offered the mechanical breakdown. So as you can see, I'm on Geico's website. It's so easy to use. It's a couple tabs and you can report a claim or even better yet, I write a speak to a representative on the phone so you can kind of explain exactly what's going on. If you're going through the website, you can look at some of the key points. One thing that it's for, it's for cars that are less than 15 months old with less than 15,000 miles. Another key point too that I wanna to bring up is that this covers your car for seven years or 100,000 miles, whichever comes first. So as I'm scrolling through this link, you may be thinking, okay, great, Geico's gonna cover my repairs, but do I have to go to one of the recommended shops or do I have to bring it to the dealership? Some of these questions, they pop up because either you had some bad experiences with either the dealership or the recommended shops are never that as good as the car shop that you go to or if it's gonna be just as good as the performance shop that you wanna bring your car to. So that's answered right over here. Can I take my car to a repair shop of my choice? And Geico allows you to do that. So, you know, you, like I said, you may have a bad experience with the dealership, they may have not done work properly, or they may cut corners, um, and you don't wanna bring it to them. Me personally right now, I bring my car to your motor performance down in Hollandale Beach. Um, they've done everything from my suspension. Uh, they installed my KW Haas kit along with my AWE switch path exhaust. And you could bring it to any shop you want, which is very beneficial if you're very particular about your cars um, and you want it done the right way. So as you can see, I have Geico's mobile app open and Geico's Mechanical Breakdown Insurance, that's $25.70, and that's for every six months, because I pay my bill every six months. The advantage of paying every six months, look it up, you'll save slightly a little bit more money. So I'm putting this video out there to get your thought process going, because you don't have to pay more than $2,000, or sometimes almost $6,500 for extended warranty. And I'm not sponsored by Geico at all, but I'm just trying to share some knowledge because this can save you thousands of dollars. You know, if you switch over, as cliche as it sounds, but like I said, you can switch over and really have that coverage if you plan on keeping your car for more than your factory warranty. Like I said, if you, have, you guys have any questions, by all means, I'll answer them. Um, if you have any other detailed questions, by all means, contact Geico. And if you guys want more videos like this, shoot a comment below. All right, I gotta run. I'm just getting to the supermarket. I gotta pick up some groceries. But I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you guys on the next one.
Turn the wheel that way. Hold it right there. Alright, go slow forward. Not fast now. Slow. Slow. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get up there. Come on. Slow. Don't go no more. Okay. Get right there. I gotta watch this right here. I got the board stick it up. I don't want it to catch this. Go slow. Slow. Hold it right there. Okay, go ahead. Turn the wheel that way. Okay, go ahead. Smoke. Easy. All right. 